Hey guys, we're back here with Ali Fontenot and uh, Hayden uh, Groats, and you guys are here to talk about the Washington Children's Shelter open house that's happening on Sunday. So for those of you who don't know what the Washington Children's Shelter, please kind of explain um, what you guys do for the community you and bet. for the children. You bet. Thanks for having us, Scott. Yeah. Um, Watson Children's Shelter is an emergency shelter for children who have been removed from the home and need a place to stay for a temporary, it's, it's an emergency shelter. Right. So children who have been removed due to abuse or neglect. Um, and all the children that are placed at the shelter are placed with us by the state. So the state of Montana. And this is the, uh, uh, one of the only chances people actually get a chance to actually see what's going on inside the Washington Children's Shelter. That's right. Um, uh, as you can imagine, we have pretty strict confidentiality. Right. And it's, it's the, the shelter is where the children live. In fact, we have two homes. Um, and so we open the house up one time a year, and this is it. This is the opportunity for people in Missoula and our surrounding communities to come uh, see our house, check it out, and cool. see what we do, get a little bit more information. Yep. And Hayden, um, I heard uh, just kind of like uh, eavesdropping on your conversation okay. that you were uh, doing some decorating. Oh my gosh! As well, so yes. um, tell us about uh, what people <clears throat> can expect from this. Open you house. so I've been trying to post little sneak peeks on Facebook, so keep your eyes open there. But um, the floor to ceilings, walls, everything is covered. There are probably six trees. Um, I mean. Everything is covered with decorations. It's it feels like a, like Wonderland when you go in there. It's it's beautiful and it's unbelievable. Yeah, they do a good job. Everybody we started decorating job. like a month ago. Yeah, yeah. We, and I was like still decorating last ago. night. So, have you have you guys done this before? Had an open house like this before? We do it every year. We do it every year. So it's the it's a really nice uh, way to kind of kick off the holiday season. Um, the holidays, as you can imagine, are are really hard for the kids. Right. No, no kid ever imagines living at a shelter, and during the holidays yeah. it can be particularly hard. So we try to make it as festive as possible during the holidays, and uh, like I said, we do it every year. And Watson Children's Shelter has been around for 40 years. Wow. Yeah, we, we celebrated our 40th anniversary this year. Oh. And, and of course, it was named after... Uh, um, Janice Watson Janice is Watson. our founder. Yeah, she was a, a, an elementary school teacher and retired and then opened Jack and Jill Daycare Center. And 40 years ago, the police came to her and said, asked her if she could accept a few children on a temporary basis, and that's how it all started. Wow. Yeah. And uh, you guys, and it's been going on ever since. And you've been with uh, Washington Children's Shelter for a few years. For a few years, for a sure. A few years. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to get it too much. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, um, for those of you who... Uh, are more uh, familiar with their uh, more uh, annual event, the Bike Fair Shelter. It's, uh, it's basically invites people from the community to basically bike and donate and get involved and kind of meet some of the kids, you know, around the Fort Missoula area for Bike Fair Shelters. Is it is. Right? This year it's going to be on May 19th. It's a big event. We have hundreds of people come out um, all around, from not just from Missoula, but all around surrounding communities. And it's really a family-friendly bike ride. There's a two-mile bike ride, an 11-mile bike ride, carnival games, all kind of stuff. But that's, like I said, coming up in May. Do you have any like uh, kids who were in the shelter from back in the day who grow, grow up who still kind of come back and still kind of be like, oh, Washington Children's Shelter was amazing? We do. As a matter of fact, we have a board member right now who is a former shelter child. Wow. Yeah. We have, a, we have a lot of adults come back years later and say, thank you so much for what you did. I don't know where I would be if it weren't for Watson yeah, Children's we've Shelter. we've received an email, I think even this past year, someone saying something like that too. So cool. they try to keep in touch a little bit. Uh, let's talk about your website a little bit. So uh, WashingtonChildrenShelter.org yeah. <laughs> is a great way for anybody to uh, basically kind of see uh, what you guys are all about and more information, just like how you can donate, how you can get involved, how uh, basically just uh, how it supports children. So do you want to kind of like kind yeah. of go over it? Yeah, you want me to show bit? you yeah. just uh, about the home tour? So this weekend's home tour, um, here's a little up upcoming events right here. It's on Sunday, December 3rd from 11 to 2. It's going to be at our Buck House location uh, right next to the Peak Racket Club off of Blue Mountain Road. Um, and if you're interested in helping at all for the holidays, um, we've got an awesome Hover Over Ways to Give in our Holiday We Care ad right here. Um, you can sponsor a child for the holidays. 
Um, you'll see their clothing sizes and then also some uh, presents that they've asked for. And anybody wants, that wants to help with that, just give us a call and we'll see who's available still. Cool. So. so it's a nice little open wish list that the kids have made. Yes. And uh, it seems like uh, the very basic things they need are clothing. Yes, always clothing, always, always clothing. Um, and just and around Christmas time, we always try to give them new clothes. Yeah. Right. Because try to make it special. Yep. Like anybody does for their kids. Yep. So is there anything else you guys want to say before we uh, wrap up? I don't think so, other than we really encourage people to come out and check out the house. Bring your kids. Yeah. It, it truly is just a, an open house. Hot chocolate and cookies. Uh, again, it's a really nice way to kick off the holiday season, get into the holiday spirit. We have a, I was, I was telling you earlier, a somewhat life-size Santa and Mrs. Claus. <laughs> they're, they're about this tall. Um, kids love it. Kids really love it. The, the house is crazy decorated. We'll even have music this year. Oh, yes, cool. we're going to have, we're going to, yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. someone's going to be playing the violin and trumpet at the front entrance yeah. and Christmas songs. So that's somebody, you too. know, that's the thing about the Missoula community. People come out yeah. and ask, I mean, people are asking, constantly asking us, what can I do, what can I do? And there's lots of different ways you can give to the shelter. And um, this gentleman reached out and said, hey, my wife and I would like to come and play holiday music for your home tour. We were like, oh, that's, that's awesome. awesome. So yeah. they're coming, yeah. <laughs> we're pretty excited about that, as you can tell. Of course, uh, we'll go Going back to the event is happening this Sunday from 11 to 2 p.m. That's right. Um, at Washington Children's Shelter. Uh, you can go to washingtonchildrenshelter.org for more information about where to find it, uh, how to donate, and basically just how to get involved and help children of Missoula who are just at a place in their life where they're just struggling a little bit. Exactly. Thank you, Stella.